When thinking about unsolved storylines in The Sopranos, there are certainly plenty to choose from. From the infamous Russian in the Woods with Polly and Christopher, to Meadow's old roommate Caitlin and the bugged lamp, to of course everyone's favorite, what happened to Tony Soprano in the show's final episode. However, there's also the unsolved storyline of Furio. As he departs back to his hometown of Naples, we sadly never hear from or see the iconic ponytail enforcer ever again. As his departure leads us to wonder, what happened to Furio? Is he dead? Or is he still alive? Before we get started, be sure to click the subscribe button and click the bell to get notifications on all upcoming Soprano videos. When we're first introduced to the lovable, iconic, and feared character of Furio, we, alongside Tony, see Furio's loyalty to organized crime. As he protects Don Vittorio from what appears to be gunshots, which are actually just firecrackers. Here, Tony is in awe of his loyalty, but also his physicality and commitment. Seeing his capabilities, Tony proceeds to make a deal for Furio. You give me Furio, and I'll walk down the price of the cars to 85. And while in America, he becomes one of Tony's most loyal enforcers. Brokuba. <laughs> Tony begins to trust Furio with his life and even welcomes him into his home on a routine basis as his driver. It's during his time in America where Furio can be seen as a ruthless enforcer, but also a kind-hearted gentleman and one who's great with kids. Furio is quickly admired by all, including Tony's wife, Carmela, and by season 4, the connection between the two is strong as the two become infatuated with one another, resulting in Carmela dreaming, fantasizing, and looking forward to his daily arrivals to pick up Tony. Every morning when he'd come to pick you up, I would look forward to it all night long in bed next to you. As their relationship progresses, the two make excuses to see one another and are quickly falling for each other. When Furio travels back to Italy for the funeral of his father, he speaks with an uncle and confesses his far-fetched love for his boss's wife. His uncle warns him not to get involved and how it's extremely dangerous to go anywhere near a woman like Carmela. This information only makes life more difficult for Furio as he comes to the realization that the only way of having Carmela is if he has Tony killed. On his return to New Jersey, Furio seems lost and disoriented from society, as he feels that he doesn't belong in America anymore. We watch as Furio is torn between working for Tony and having Carmela. As we know he's a loyal soldier to Tony, but also loves Carmela and knows he cannot be with her while Tony is still alive. Once Furio realizes that he can basically not obtain Carmela or her love, he begins to become depressed and empty. Furio later begins to resent Tony due to his lack of respect and care towards Carmela. This is displayed at a party where Furio sees how Tony drunkenly behaves with other women. Later that night, Furio almost goes as far as killing Tony by pushing him into a helicopter blade, but quickly gets a hold of himself, as he tells Tony that he was standing too close to the blade, but in reality, Furio was going to push Tony into the helicopter blade simply to have Carmela. Realizing that he cannot have a serious relationship with Carmela and work under Tony, Furio flees back to Naples where he is never heard from again. We come to find out that Furio's departure upsets both Tony and Carmela for different reasons. For Carmela, she's devastated by realizing she may never see Furio again as a simple postcard advertisement of the Colosseum makes her think and hope that it's a letter from Furio, while Tony is just upset that one of his key guys has disappeared back to Naples. All right, calm down. Jesus Christ, I don't have enough on my plate. One of my key guys disappeared to Naples, for Christ's sake. The irony here is that Tony doesn't know that Carmela is upset over Furio. Similar to Furio, Carmela too becomes empty with the news of his departure and confesses her love for Furio to Tony in an argument. The last year, I have been dreaming and fantasizing and in love with Furio. Tony becomes furious with this news and claims that he has people looking for Furio, and if they get a hold of him, he will likely wind up dead. Yet you are modern enough to use a cell phone to call Italy and every other fucking place to threaten the guy's life. Well, that's right. Certain people see him. He's a dead man. 
So, what happened to Furio? In reality, he returned to Italy to reunite with Annalisa. While Tony claims he spoke to a boss back in Italy to put a contract out on his head, the reality of this is that the Mafia back in Italy didn't care what Tony had to say, as they had one of their most loyal soldiers working back in the family. Some fans claim that Furio eventually became the boss of the Italian Mafia, and put the contract out on Tony's life in the final episode in order to have a relationship with Carmela. Personally, I think there wasn't a contract out on Furio's life, and that he simply went back to working under Annalisa in Italy. What do you think happened to Furio? Let me know down in the comment section below. For more Soprano-themed videos, keep it locked here, right here, on this channel.